we had to figure out a way to get a six and a half ton block of dinosaur out of the badlands of northeastern Montana. When we realized that we had a fossilized cadaver, in my 30 years of field work, I'd never seen anything like it. Articulated skeletons are extremely rare. This is one of those truly unique fossils to the world of, of art, like the Mona Lisa. Leonardo is the best dinosaur, the most eloquent, that tells the, the, the most complicated backstory. The chance of duplicating this in the next couple hundred years is pretty slim. Let's make some x-rays. You couldn't hope for this. I didn't hope for yeah, this. You couldn't hope for anything more than this. This specimen is actually going to give us our best look at what a living dinosaur looked like. That's lovely. Oh, you! Well, this is the first time that anyone's ever had the opportunity to see a dinosaur where the soft tissue and the bones and the joints are all held properly in position. So you have the connective tissue in place, you have the ligaments in place, and that's what these radiographs are showing. That's why everybody's getting so excited. Oh! Yeah, baby! We hadn't a clue before. Not a clue. Now we've got a window. The small intestine's coming from the stomach, which is here. Oh, it's the first time anybody's ever seen dinosaur intestines. Yeah. Clearly there are soft tissue remnants here. I'd be willing to bet you've got heart and liver as well. <laughs> wow. Leonardo is spectacular. It's incredible. Far more detailed than I ever expected. That's incredible. We're picking up a lot of detail in the skin impressions here. No longer do we have to refer to just a skeleton. Uh, this thing continues to surprise us from the standpoint of recreating what a dinosaur looks like. What we're seeing in the fossil record are extreme killing events that are wiping out large numbers of animals across that coastal plain. We think we have the smoking gun, the cause, to help us explain why a superb specimen like Leonardo got preserved in the first place. That was by far the most nerve-wracking trip I have ever made. I can't believe he's here. Welcome to Houston, Mr. Leonardo. That little spider web stayed there for 2,000 miles. Oh my God. <laughs> The best is yet to come. We have a really neat examination that's just on the horizon. What we have here is an opportunity to find out more about a dinosaur than anybody else. And so we, we have to find out what we can find out. This is the shot, so the next two hours are critical. We're very close to this. We're very close. Finding something that nobody's ever found before. We're talking about the heart of a dinosaur, never before seen before. It's never been seen. The holy grail of dinosaur studies. Tonight we're going to shoot the front shoulder area, and this is the area that contains the heart. This is for the money shot. We gotta be real careful. It makes everybody a little nervous. This is so much more penetrating. You have to stay so far away. If anything happens in this crimped line, the pill gets stuck anywhere in the system, and it's a major, major issue. And uh, it's extremely dangerous at that point. Wouldn't you agree? Sure. Ribs and a big chunk of muscle were ripped out. That would kill the animal. I think you're right. I think. That's a wound. I think it is. It's a hell of a wound. 
the skin is tight against the ribs, it dried out right next to the ribs, but you go over here and the skin has been pulled away from the ribs. Here are the ribs. This stuff has been yanked away. We may have the cause of death. That would be so cool. If we don't get the shot in the next four hours, we're not going to get it. We've worked hard all day and we hope this will turn out. It always comes down where the last thing <laughs> is the most important thing, you know? That's in the right location. It's about the right size. Has a very good chance of being the heart.